there are situations God shows up for you. And there are situations God is expecting you to show up for yourself. Now do not get me wrong. God shows up for us in every situation. But the question is, how often do you show up for yourself? Now, like it or not, God and man are partners. And this has been seen and proven from ancient times till this day. So God, in his infinite wisdom, mercy, grace and love, is expecting us humans to harness every gift that he has given to us. And that was why he made trees. So that we can make tables and stools, chairs and dolls out from them. He made rocks. So that we can make our marbles, stones and walls and bricks out of them. He made atom. So that we can make irons, aluminium and other vital materials in the world. Why do you still sit down there and you're still expecting God for a miracle where you clearly know that the best thing to do is go learn a trade, go to school, study hard, become a professional in that thing that you love to do. If you do your findings very well, you will realize that the most successful people in the world do not spend half of their days praying and breaking chairs and going from different churches to another looking for miracle. The most successful people in the world put their right foot forward, take risk, do research, fight hard, contend, go to business seminars, grab opportunities, fight to carve their names in the industry. Now, I know a lot of you will say, oh, Emmanuel, if you talk about that, the way those grace comes in. My dear, grace becomes more graceful when met with opportunity. And success becomes more successful when hard work meets opportunity. So, grace is there, but you must walk. You must put your best foot forward. You cannot become reluctant because the grace of God is always with you. Then you're reluctant, then you're lukewarm. Then you're seated there and be like, oh God, God, I know your grace is sufficient. I know your mercy is there. Give me a job. You must get your ass up and go find that job. Grace will work for you when the time is right. Grace is not to be misused. So get up. Find your niche. Find that thing you know how to do best. Bank on it. Walk on it. Do more research on it. Fight for it. Become passionate about it. Dream of it. Think of it. Sing with it. Talk about it. And then the mercy of God will rise for your sake and grace will locate you. The Bible clearly says, bring the works of your hands and I shall bless them. There are a lot of us that do not even have work, but we want opportunity to come knocking on our door. We want grace to locate us. How can God bless an empty hand? Every day we cry, calling God's name, going from different churches to another, going from different counseling and blaming our, our forefathers and blaming our, our village people and calling their names and casting them every night. But we have not changed our game. There are too many things in the world to do to succeed. If one door is shut, try to open another one. If that one is shut, go through another one. You cannot sit down and wait. So that by the time you're crying to God in heaven to bless you, He stretches His neck and He looks down and He sees that, okay, now you have something we can bless. Get up today and try something. And if you've tried something, still try something new. May God bless you as you get up. And may God provide everything that you need to succeed. Thank you. Remain blessed. Amen.